Here are 10 tips for shopping at eBay. Deal Hunters, today I'm sharing my top 10 tips for scoring amazing bargains on eBay. Shopping on eBay can be overwhelming, but there are some tricks you can use not only to make things easier for yourself, but also to make sure you get the cheapest price possible. So keep watching to the very end to see my number one tip for getting the best deal. Tip number 10 is to avoid bidding wars. If you see something you like on eBay, it's so easy to get caught up in the bidding, especially when the time starts ticking down. Usually you end up spending way more than you wanted to because it's so easy to get caught up in the moment. It's important to set limits for yourself so you know when you can walk away from a purchase. Moving on to tip number nine, use your filters wisely. Whilst getting bogged down in bidding against lots of other people isn't a good idea, setting your filters to sort by ending soonest can help you score a big bargain. If a product listing is about to end and it hasn't been bid on, you can swoop in at the final minute and get the bargain. So sites like Last Minute Auction are really handy because they show you all the eBay auctions listing soon and you can see what appeals to you and nab it from 99p. My eighth tip is to always bid with pennies. If you've seen something on eBay and you're determined to get it, try bidding an unusual amount. So for example, instead of bidding five pounds, you might bid five pounds 53. It's a handy trick for coming out on top without massively overpaying. Most people do these whole numbers, so just a few pennies more and you could be the winner. My seventh tip is to try angling for a discount. If you see something on a buy it now listing, rather than just putting it in your basket and checking out straight away, put it in your basket and just leave it there for a couple of days. Sometimes the seller will message you and say, hey, I've seen you've got interest. Uh, if you check out now, I'll give you a 5% discount. It won't work every time, but you've got nothing to lose just by holding it there. Tip number six is to set up alerts for items you are looking for. If you've got something specific in mind that you want to buy on eBay, you can save the search and then whenever someone lists that item at an auction, eBay will let you know. It's handy as you don't need to keep checking eBay every day for something that's new and you just let eBay do the work for you. My fifth tip is to search for local items you can collect. Often sellers will list the items for collection only, so you can only see them if you live close enough once you've typed in your postcode. Not only is this convenient for the seller, it also means less competition for you, as it narrows the number of people who can see and buy the item. And usually it means the items sell for less and you save on any delivery costs. Tip number four is to always look out for information a seller may have forgotten to include. For example, if they've listed a barber jacket, but they've only listed it as a navy quilted jacket, forgetting the brand name, you may be able to bag it for a good price as it won't always get as much interest. You can use the site No Bids to check for items that have an auction ending soon and without bids. Swoop in and get a great deal. We're all guilty of making the odd mad midnight purchase online, but on eBay, this can actually work to your advantage. With that in mind, my third tip is to find auctions that close late at night. Usually, listings at these antisocial hours get fewer bids because everyone's asleep. So you can use sites such as Bid Kits, which has a nighttime search tool to find auctions that are going to end at night. You look for them and you get a steal. Number two is one of my favorite eBay hacks, and that is searching for misspelled words. If someone has listed an item and spelt it wrong, it won't come up for when people search for it, or at least not as highly. That means fewer bids and lower prices. You can use sites like fatfingers.com to find common spelling mistakes people make, and then you can bag a bargain that no one else has seen. And that number one deal hunter is my top tip, it's never to assume that just because it's on eBay, you're getting the cheapest price. You can use price comparison tools like the latest deals one to check you're getting a genuinely good deal. Deal Hunters, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any top tips or questions for shopping on eBay, please leave them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer. Don't forget to subscribe to latest deals and please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Deal Hunters, I'll see you in the next one.